Ooh. Hi everyone, Big Thinny Shift Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Snow Strippers April Mixtape 3. This is a new mixtape of material from Detroit duo Snow Strippers, which is masterminded by producer Graham Perez and vocalist Tatiana Schwaninger. These two have been making some intense waves in the electronic music underground as of late, somehow mustering enough buzz to land a Lil Uzi Vert feature, and they only dropped their debut album last year. And now they're following it up with this project right here less than 12 months later, and I'm hearing a lot of creative parallels to the debut. What we have here, again, is an onslaught of over a dozen tracks that are a very punchy and cut-to-the-chase fusion of techno and fuzzy lo-fi electropop. Pretty much everything you need and nothing you don't on all these two to three minute cuts. Driving beats, very grainy and somewhat distorted but sweet. Synth leads, ghostly and surreal, disorienting effects, some haunting and infectious lead vocals as well. And when you're not getting a kind of a clean, straightforward lead on a track, often there will be some vocal samples or vocal chops that are arranged in such a way where it's just really snappy. When reading in to Snow Strippers, I was catching a lot of comparisons to Indie Electronica Darling's Crystal Castles, which I wouldn't say is totally unwarranted, but it's not a one-to-one -one comparison. Each duo, respectively, has very different approaches to vocals, plus Snow Strippers on this project show very little interest in embracing punk or glitch aesthetics, though the 8-bit synths on It's a Dream did surprise me a bit. While I don't think the comparison is super close, I will say this, I haven't heard something this visceral and this consistently good in the Electro Clash lane since Crystal Castles, which may also be reason for the comparisons. And it's funny because I don't think Snow Strippers is doing anything especially flashy or novel uh, and sometimes even skillful in this genre. I mean, I think being raw and maybe even a little sloppy in some instances is the point. Look at the song Sick, for example, whose mix is so loaded with bleed between the synthesizers and the delay-soaked vocals and the bass. Then occasionally all of those sounds are overpowered by uh, these random hits of robot vocals uh, saying, that's fucking sick. And then there's also the fragmented synth sequences on I'm On My Own, uh, also the disorienting stops in the beat here and there on Depriving You, uh, which are almost too unhinged. So in addition to this record not being revolutionary, it's also not a pursuit of perfectionism, that's for sure. However, I still think the less is more fast and loose approach the duo applies to this project uh, really works in their favor as they pretty much deliver a series of infectious songs with some very simple and effective ideas, almost without fail for one track after another. The tunes on these cuts are often so strong they shine through uh, whatever chaos Graham and Tatiana are subjecting them to with droning tones and psychedelic delays and suffocating hits of bass. Be that on your ridicule or it's going bad or fake smile in the opening track again. All of which have lead vocal melodies that are so strong they can't be killed with the weirdly claustrophobic mixes <laughs> that we have on this mixtape. Which in a way I still think adds to the experience slightly because this record isn't just a vibe it's not just background music the beats and the bass and the volume here just don't really let up it's borderline confrontational you have to engage with these songs they force you to dance with them because yeah while the tunes are there uh, sometimes the beats on these tracks are enough like the shimmering synths and what sounds like side chained bass or kicks on lacerate which gives the song this effect of like uh, b being woozy. It's like the whole waveform of the song is throbbing as it's grooving along. There's also the overwhelming bliss of Don't You Feel, where the slower meditative tempo on this one really enchants me. Then you have those uh, futuristic woodwind sounding synths. It's like something from another dimension. And of course, there's also the whooshing tones and rigid grooves of Now It's Not the Same, which is exactly the kind of techno chaos I'm trying to get into. And yeah, I think a lot of this record's appeal comes down to chaos, but there are some really direct and 
uh, catchy moments of clarity too. Be that on Under Your Spell, which I think has one of the most intelligible vocal parts on the entire project. That also goes for Like to Complicate too. But overall, I think this mixtape is kick-ass. It's really good. It's slightly one-dimensional in terms of its overall vibe and sound. There's not that much versatility to it at the end of the day. But I still will say I think the dirty left field aesthetics of this project uh, are to its benefit, even if there are some moments where I wonder how much some slightly cleaner production would improve its appeal. There are a few tracks that feel kind of redundant in the batch here and maybe a couple others where the rougher edges could have been smoothed out for a better overall experience. The Uzi track also ended up being one of the weaker spots here too. But with all that being said, uh, I loved this thing. I thought it was really entertaining and uh, just a non-stop groove fest. Feeling a light eight on this mixtape, Tran. Zishin, have you given this project a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Snow Strippers, uh, forever.